I will love you for eternity. I will never love anyone else in this whole entire world like I love you. These are not just mere words, but they are vows. This is a commitment that you made to your ex five years ago. It is a covenant that has you bound with them, and that is why your current relationship is on a roller coaster experience. Many people are living in bondage due to soul ties and are clueless about it. The devil uses the ignorance on the part of Christians to torment them and cause them to live defeated lives. They say ignorance has no defense. Therefore, arise and take back your power by repenting, renouncing, and breaking the power of those words in Jesus' mighty name. Hello saints, this is Evelyn once again welcoming you to today's video. This is another beautiful day that the Lord has made. If you are here for the first time, I thank God for ordering your steps to this place. Here, we are all about using the power in the word of God to live in victory. Please type in the comments section, I am ready to conquer, just so I can identify you and respond to you with a word of welcome. An evil soul tie is an ungodly connection with someone or with people. Soul ties are brought about by long-term relationships or even associations with the persons around you at a particular time in your life. Many people, including believers, are connected to certain ungodly relationships at the expense of their destinies and their salvation. The Bible speaks of soul ties when it speaks on two souls being knit together and becoming one flesh. Negative soul ties drag people back in life. Some of the children of Israel never made it to the promised land simply because their minds were still tied to Egypt. They were out of Egypt, but Egypt was not out of them. This caused them to sadly lose out on God's plan for their lives. Similarly, saints, we must break certain relationships in our lives if we are to move forward with God's plan for us. I'm sure you have seen people who are in very unhealthy, toxic, or even abusive relationships, but for some demonic reasons, they cannot disentangle themselves from it. This is because soul ties are tied together in the spiritual realm, and what you see is just the manifestation. This can only be broken by the power of prayer. Yes, therapy is very, very important. Therapy is great. However, prayer should be paramount in order for these ties to be broken. And these evil soul ties do not come from relationships with people you know only. It may actually come from any kind of contact you have engaged in. For instance, I have had women tell me that before they became born again, they frequented the witch doctor's shrines to consult and stuff like that. And in most cases, it was always about their husbands. Anyways, there's always a common factor in these women's stories. The sad fact is that the witch doctor had to sleep with them in order for that spell to work or something like that. I have also had these stories about women who are seeking to conceive the fruit of the womb. That act of a person sleeping with you is very significant because that is what ties your spirits together. And yes, your issue may be about taming your philandering husband may work. However, we know that the devil doesn't give anything for free. Therefore, your husband may become loving and sweet, but on the other hand, your financial rivers start to run dry. You may start to experience brokenness like never before, or even sicknesses, or just some other challenges that you never had in the first place. Therefore, saints, soul ties are caused by three main things. Sexual scene, close relationships, you know, that kind of obsessive relationship with somebody, and commitment vows and promises you know these vows and promises we make to each other that may also cause you to be tied up to somebody being that a soul tie is a spiritual connection between two people that is negatively affecting both of them one needs to do the following to remedy the situation number one is to repent one needs to repent of all the sins that were involved for instance, if it was the sin of fornication that was involved, then one needs to genuinely and sincerely repent of it. If gifts were given by the other person in connection with the sin of unholy relationship, then such gifts need to be discarded as well. They may be rings, cards, flowers, and such. 
It is not advisable to hang on to such because they symbolize the sin and thus may keep you bound. Also, we need to renounce and cancel any vows, commitments, or covenants made during the union. Some people take this lightly, however, these are spoken commitments which should be unspoken by verbally cancelling them in Jesus' name. Proverbs 21-23 tells us, Those who guard their mouths and their tongues keep themselves from trouble. Fasting can also be used, of course, together with prayer, so that it can quell the pangs of the negative soul ties in one's life. Another very important aspect is to forgive oneself. Forgiving yourself brings divine and physical healing and drives out all the negativity from you. Also, saints, the following are 10 very powerful prayer points that you can use to break these soul ties completely so as to liberate your life once and for all. Pray them in the midnight hour and let God do the rest. You can pray with them for as long as you wish until you feel in your spirit that all is well. Any evil covenant strengthening the foundation of any covenant in my life break and lose your hold in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Every soul tie and covenant between me and witchcraft spirits break in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Every soul tie and covenant between me and my ancestral spirits break and lose your hold in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Every soul tie and covenant with family gods, shrines, and spirits, break and lose your hold in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Every soul tie and covenant between me and my ancestors, break and release me in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Every soul tie and covenant between me and my former boyfriends or girlfriends, break and lose your hold in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Every soul tie and covenant between me and any demonic minister, break and lose your hold in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Every soul tie and covenant between me and my former house, office or school, break and lose your hold in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Every soul tie and covenant between me and any occultic relation, break and release me now in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Every soul tie and covenant between me and any herbalist, break and release me now in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. If you have found this video useful, please show your appreciation by giving it a like. And if you have any prayer requests, feel free to drop them in the comment section below and we shall pray together. As for those who have not subscribed, this is your opportunity to click on the subscribe button and do remember also to turn on all notifications so that you are notified each time I upload a new video. Till we meet again in the next video, may the good Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen.